In today's topic, we would be discussing the nature of the Nigerian economy. The structure of the Nigerian economy can be viewed from three major sectors, primary, secondary, and tertiary. This includes the structure of production, financial systems, factorial composition of value added, composition of resources and their uses, demographic variables in terms of population, and the degree of urbanization. The outline of the structure of the Nigerian economy can be broadly classified into production, which is made up of agriculture, cropping, livestock, forestry, and fishery, manufacturing, mining and quarrying, real estate and construction, general commerce, which is composed of bill discounting, domestic trade, external trade, import and export, services, which include public utilities, transport, communication, etc. Others, which are credit and financial institutions, government, miscellaneous, which are personal and professional services, private sector, general overview of the Nigerian economy. Nigeria is a structurally imbalanced economy that completely depended on agriculture before the discovery of the oil boom. The lack of diversification made the Nigerian economy resemble the shape of a crooked glass, broad at the bottom, thin in the middle, and broad again at the top. At the bottom is the primary sector, made up mainly of agriculture. Thin in the middle is the industrial sector, which is largely underdeveloped. Broad again at the top is the service sector, consisting mainly of relatively undertrained self-employed artisans, some professionals, and civil servants. In 1970, the emergence of all diverted attention from other sectors of the economy, leading to an era of economic downturn and massive importation. In 1981, oil prices fell drastically, and Nigeria's external debt grew significantly. Again, in 1986, the world oil market witnessed a further fall in prices, which left the economy prone to external disequilibrium, with all sectors of the economy seriously affected. Industrial capacity utilization fell, shortages of essential commodities arose, the nation's foreign reserves depleted, external and domestic debts accumulated, and balance of payment problems became chronic. Unemployment, inflation, and other socio-economic problems were triggered as overseas banks stopped confirming letters of credit for Nigerian banks. The burden of economic management became a serious problem, and alternative approaches were introduced to tackle it through the adoption of their Structural Adjustment Program SAP, in 1986. The primary aim of the program was to effectively alter and restructure the production and consumption patterns of the economy, eliminate price distortions, and reduce their heavy dependence on the export of crude oil and the import of consumer and producer goods. Nature and Structure of Industries in Nigeria An industry refers to a number of firms producing similar commodities. Thus, industrialization is the process of building up a nation's capacity to convert raw materials and other inputs into finished goods and to manufacture goods for further production or final consumption. There are five main types of industries that dominate the Nigerian economy, which are Processing industry, this industry is involved in beverages and semi-finished goods. Manufacturing industry, this industry is involved in transforming raw materials into finished goods. Craft industry, cottage industries, this industry is involved in metal and wood carving work and constructive activities where the needed materials are sourced locally, with the use of simple tools. Mining industry, this industry is involved in the extraction of raw materials from the earth's crust. Service industry, this industry is involved in retail, transport, distribution, food service, as well as other service-dominated businesses. Contributions of economic sectors. Primary sector, extracts resources, provides jobs, supports industries, and generates income. Secondary sector, transforms raw materials into products, creates jobs, and boosts development. Tertiary sector, handles commerce, provides services, and creates employment. 
economic activities of Nigeria's six geopolitical zones. Northwest zone comprises Sokoto, Zanfara, Kebi, Katsina, Jigarwa, Kano, and Kaduna. Key activities include agriculture, cereals and animal rearing, and mining, limestone for cement in Sokoto. North Central Zone includes Banu, Kogi, Nazara, Niger, Plateau, and FCT Abuja. Predominantly farming, weaving, blacksmithing, and mining, tin, columbite, gold, and limestone, with significant hydroelectric power generation, e.g., Kainji Dam. Northeast Zone covers Yob, Borno, Bauchi, Gong, Adamawa, and Tarabar. Focuses on agriculture and livestock, cattle, sheep, goats, with minimal mining. Southwest zone consists of Lagos, Agon, Oyo, Ondu, Akiti, and Ocean. Engages in agriculture, cash crops like cocoa, kola nut, and mining, limestone and bitumen, alongside commercial activities. Southeast zone includes Anambra, Imo, Inugu, Abia, and Ebony. Specializes in agriculture, palm products, rubber, and mining, limestone, lead, zinc, coal, with strong trading and local manufacturing. South-South zone comprises Edo, Delta, Rivers, Bayelser, Cross River, and Aqua Ibom. Dominated by crude oil production, along with farming, cocoa, oil palm, and fishing, supported by trading and seaport operations. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.